Our last speaker is Charleston White. Oh, uh, this has been a pattern for years. I'm always the last speaker. Uh, I remember being given permission by the Fort Worth Police Department to sell marijuana in this city. I had a meeting with office with Deputy Chief Dean, and he instructed us. He said, Charleston, I don't want any hard drugs down there. I want you to tell the old man that I don't want to hear anything about he can't stop it. It's so, so we sold weed forever. So I never applied for any federal grant money, right? So I never needed you guys to help me feed children. I went to the streets. We sold drugs. We got the whores coming out of Tenor Road, whatever we needed to do to keep you guys out of our business. So when I get a call from Officer Charles Rogers and say, hey, can you help me get some guys that will volunteer to come into the middle school? I am already know you guys are going to play politics, right? Because I infiltrated your police department and stole a lot of information. And so you guys try to keep me out of things. But the community keeps doing. When you guys push me down, this is what the community does. They push me right back in front of y'all faces. Now I have a national audience. So let me tell you about Officer Rogers. I was in a strip club one night, and Officer Rogers, I contacted the NAACP president. I contacted U.S. Department of Homeland Security Special Agent Keith Owens for the Human Trafficking Division, and I called Charles Rogers about 1 o'clock in the morning with music playing and strippers around me. And we rescued that lady the next day. Officer Tracy Carter involved himself in that and interfered just like he's interfering now. It wasn't until we put together a group of men, 19 other men, myself including 20, we went to a struggling black business in Arlington, Texas, because Fort Worth don't support what we do. We supported this business. She made thousands of dollars that day because we advertised it and promoted her business on social media. We put together a program, invited Officer Snyder, Found out he's not a racist white cop. He's a Detroit boy, just works for a racist police department, so he gets a bad rap with the children. We're going to teach these children that this is a good man. Well, how do you know they're good? Do they feel bad when they do wrong? Do they feel bad when they do wrong? So here we go. The police department interferes and says, hey, he's on a video with Charleston with 19 other men in a community event doing gang intervention and prevention. You guys pay a lot of money for the VIP program that the uh, Kelly Allen Gray put together. We don't need you guys funding, but we got the manpower that the VIP program doesn't have, right? So I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm standing against the police department. You guys have never seen me do that, never. It's easy to hate now because you guys are interfering with children's lives. It's easy to spread the narrative that we hate y'all. F the police, because I see it's not about kids. It's about your politics. That's the last of our speakers.